Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an interesting exponential equation. We've done similar problems before, so I'm going to try to include that link down below. And here we have 8 to the power x over x plus 1 times 5 to the power x equals 100. And we're going to be solving for x values. I'll be presenting two methods. Let's start with the first one. So my first method is going to be a little painful, but it's important because solutions are not always nice and this is more of a general method. So this can be applied to pretty much any situation. Change the 8 and 5 and then uh, this method will still work. By the way, you could also guess at this point what a possible solution might look like, uh, but I'm going to skip that part until we get to uh, the solutions. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Uh, since I have 100 on the right hand side, I'm going to use base 10 log, which is L-O-G. So when I write anything like log A, it just means log A with base 10. Okay, that's what it means. So I'm going to log both sides, log A to the power X over X plus 1 times 5 to the X equals log 100. Now 100 is 10 to the second power. So we can go ahead and move this 2 to the front. And this gives us 2 times log 2. I mean 10. 2 times log 10. And log 10 is 1 because it's log 10 with base 10. Make sense? So this is 1. So the right hand side equals 2. That's nice. The left hand side is the log of a product. And it can be written as the sum of two logs. Again, we, we're using a property of logs, which is really cool and helpful. If you have log A, B, that can be written as log A plus log B. We can't do the same thing for log A plus B. The plus or the sum does not turn into a sum. Or the product, product turns into a sum, but not yeah, the other way around. Okay. So we can write this as log A to the power X over X plus 1. Plus, again, that product turns into a sum log 5 to the power x. Now this is really nice because now we can go ahead and move the powers one more time like this to the front and this to the front. So that's going to give us the following x over x plus 1 times log 8 plus x times log 5. You don't have to put the multiplication symbol it's understood. Now this is what we get and what does this look like to you? If, if you say rational equation you write but I'm going to turn this into a quadratic equation. How so? We'll multiply both sides by uh, x plus 1, right? So that's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and do it. Multiply by x plus 1 and multiply by x plus 1. When you do that, and I'm probably going to move this to the right a little bit so it's centered. Uh-oh, that didn't go well. All right, let's see how this goes. Okay, this should be good. All right, now, we're going to multiply both sides by x plus 1, and that's going to cancel out the x plus 1, so we're going to get the following. x log 8 plus x times x plus 1 is going to be x squared plus x multiply by log 5, and that is equal to 2x plus 2. So we're going to simplify this a little bit more. Uh, log 8, 8 is 2 to the third power. So I can move the 3 to the front, and that's going to give me 3x log 2. And then, now we, we got to think about it. we got to be smart. We have the log 2 and the log 5, and 2 times 5 is 10, obviously. So log 10, which can be written as log 5 plus log 2, is equal to 1. So I can write one of these in terms of the other. Which one should I use? I want to convert log 2. So I'm going to write it as 1 minus log 5. I hope that makes sense. This is a nice trick that we use a lot. So let's go ahead and do it in the next step. Plus, and I'm going to, I, I want to distribute this. x squared log 5. Let's go ahead and distribute it. Plus x log 5 equals 2x plus 2. All right, what am I going to do next? Put together these expressions, but at the same time replace log 2 with 1 minus log 5. And then go ahead and put everything together. So let's go ahead and do this. And then distribute. And then we'll organize uh, or rearrange the terms to ter make it look like a quadratic. 
So if you distribute, you're going to get 3x minus 3x log 5 plus x squared log 5 plus x log 5 equals 2x plus 2. And then now take a look. This is going to be our quadratic term. So I'm going to write it as log 5 multiplied by x squared. And then what's the coefficient of x? I have negative 3x log 5 and x log 5. That's negative 3x plus x, which is negative 2x. So we can write it as negative 2 log 5 times x, but we also have the plus 3. So maybe I can do it like this, right? Oh, by the way, 2x is going to be, uh-oh, the 2x is going to be x subtracted, right? And when I do subtract the 2x, okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Subtract this, and I end up with x here, and subtract the 2. Okay, so here's what we're going to get from here. We have the x, which is just 1x. And then that's the coefficient is 1. So it's going to give me 1 minus. And these two are going to give me 2 log 5. Make sense? And then all of that is multiplied by x. And then now I have the minus 2 equals 0. So this is my full quadratic. And notice that this is quadratic in x. So we can go ahead and use the quadratic formula. x equals negative b. 2 log 5 minus 1. Plus minus the square root of... 1 minus 2 log 5 squared minus 4ac, which is going to be plus 8 times log 5. Now we're going to go ahead and simplify this, divide by 2 log 5. Now the expression uh, inside the parentheses, if you square it and add 8 log 5, let's go ahead and simplify the discriminant first. So we're going to go ahead and simplify this. This is the discriminant, or delta, by the way. So it's going to give us 1 plus 4 log 5 squared minus 4 log 5, right, plus 8 log 5, that's our delta. Now notice that these two will give us 4 log 5, so we're going to get 1 plus 4 times log 5 squared plus 4 times log 5. If you look at this carefully, and you can call this x, or not x, but maybe a, 4a squared plus 4a plus 1, this is actually a perfect square. So this is 2 log 5 plus 1 quantity squared. We started off with an expression with a minus sign, but when we added the 8 log 5, it becomes a positive. It becomes a positive. So here's what we have. x equals, this is delta, so I'm going to square root it, 2 log 5 minus 1 from the quadratic formula, plus minus the square root of the delta, which is 2 log 5 plus 1, divided by 2 log 5 at the bottom. So this, these are the roots, and from here it's going to be actually fairly simple. We're just going to split it up, 2 log 5 minus 1 plus 2 log 5 plus 1 divided by 2 log 5. Negative 1 and positive 1 cancels out, and 4 log 5 divided by 2 log 5 is equal to 2. Yes, this was the solution that you probably already guessed. x equals 2 works. You can go ahead and plug it in. But the other solution is more interesting. It's going to be 2 log 5 minus 1 minus 2 log 5. Uh-oh. Minus 2 log 5 minus 1, and then divide by 2 log 5. In this case, the logs cancel out, leaving us with negative 2 over 2 log 5. And if you simplify it, the second solution is going to be negative 1 over log 5. There's obviously a lot of different ways you can write it, but these are going to be the two solutions that we get. So let me go ahead and give you guys the second method real quick, and then we'll be done. Okay. So the second method uses actually exponents, not logs. So we have 2 to the power, okay, not 2 to the power yet, 8 to the power x over x plus 1 times 5 to the power x equals 100. So I'm going to write the 8 as 2 to the third. So we can multiply these together, 5 to the x. 100 is 4 times 25, 2 squared times 5 squared. So I'm going to put the powers of 2 together, 2 to the power 3x over x plus 1 divided by 2 to the second is 5 to the second divided by 5 to the x. Notice that I put the 5s together and 2s together. Now we're going to subtract the exponents, right, 3x over x plus 1 minus 2, 5 to the power 2 minus x. N notice that something interesting is going to happen here, something magical. Now make a common denominator, you get 3x minus 2x minus 2 divided by x plus 1 equals 5 to the power 2 minus x. This becomes x minus 2 divided by x plus 1 
equals 5 to the power 2 minus x. Hopefully you can see that x equals 2 will make the exponents 0. Therefore, it's a solution, right? x equals 2. Remember, we, we have seen that, right? But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to write this as 2 to the power 1 over x plus 1 to the power x minus 2 because exponents are multiplied. And the second one as 5 to the power negative 1 to the power x minus 2 because the opposite of x minus 2 is 2 minus x. Yes, if x is equal to 2, then uh, we're going to get 2 to the power 0 equals 5 to the power 0. And this is going to work. So x equals 2 is the solution. If x does not equal 2, if x does not equal 2, then we can go ahead and cancel it out because we can raise both sides to the power 1 over x minus 2. And this gives us the other solution. Let's go ahead and take a look. This is going to be 1 over 5. And then what I want to do is actually, I probably want to raise both sides to the power. Okay, let me see. How do I want to do this? Okay, here's what we're going to do. Raise both sides to the power negative 1. Uh, I don't really need to do it. So let's go ahead and proceed like this. I want to write this as 1 over 5 still. Okay. And then I want to uh, log both sides. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Log. And 1 over x plus 1 is going to go here. 2 is going to go here. And this is going to be log 5 to the power negative 1, which is negative log 5. And then I can isolate this. I can write it as 1 over x plus 1 equals negative log 5 over log 2. And then I can flip both sides. That's going to give me x plus 1 equals negative log 2 over log 5. And then I can subtract 1 and I'll get the answer. And guess what? By making a common denominator, you'll get the exact same solution because log 2 plus log 5 is equal to 1. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.